What's going on, RE fans? I have yet another Samurai Edge project in front of you today. This is my Barry Burton Samurai Edge. And this is one of the projects that I really wanted to do for a very long time. And I just happened to run into a guy that was actually making kits for it. So this is the end result. Um, I do have a full video of the review of each of the pieces um, that you see here today, as well as an installation video and a shooting video so you can go check out my channel and take a look at all of those but this is just a quick look on Barry Burton's Samurai Edge all dressed up in its in its glory so you've got the accessory rail compensator with the mod Barry Burton name on it stars special team engraving done by customized creations Barry's uh, special medallion and of course the extended mag base. It's got the 40 Smith & Wesson plus B plus, or plus P, not plus B plus. Um, however, the guy that makes them is from, Cal is from California, so these will not extend the round count of your magazine, so you will need a 10 round 40 Smith & Wesson magazine. Uh, if you have the 11 or 12 or even 13, these will not fit, uh, the magazine base will not sit flush with the gun. It will actually stick out like that. So if you want it to sit flush, you have to buy the 10 round magazine, unfortunately. Since he's in California, he's uh, he's prohibited from making, uh, making mag bases that extend the round count to more than 10. So uh, it kind of is what it is. I mean, you can probably... Um, machine out the the bottom of the base plate to extend it but I don't really want to mess with it if you're a gunsmith and you're really crafty at that then by all means go for it we got the custom kendo shop engraving and then also I had uh, customized creations uh, flush uh, flush out the front sight so you just chopped it off and smoothed it out so it's nice and nice and smooth kind of like the same uh, on the airsoft gun. Yeah. This is just a quick look on Barry Burton's Samurai Edge.